Hey guys, it's your girl Shella. Yeah, come on and try this recipe. It's the best and easiest potato salad you can ever make. And it is the best. All right, you guys, so y'all have seen all the ingredients that's gonna be used in this potato salad, Shella's Creations way. And I'm gonna, I've already rinsed the potatoes off. I'm gonna go cut and dice them up after I take the skins off. And you'll see us back to assemble all this goodness. All right, now, so the potatoes are all skinned and diced up. And as you can see, this is about the size you want them. You see my thumbnail? That's about the size you want them. And I'm getting ready to put them in the water, salted water, and let them boil until they get soft. Not too soft, because you gotta mix them up with your other ingredients. All right, so we'll see you guys once the potatoes have boiled. All right, so I have my potatoes on the stove. Now I'm going to get all the mixing that's going to go in there ready so that when these potatoes get done, guess what? They're going in that goodness. All right, you guys, this is Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way. And like I told you guys, I'm making a potato salad. Now I have about 10 eggs in here, but I'm not gonna use all 10 eggs to mash them because I wanted to decorate my top of my potato salad with sliced eggs. So I'm gonna put in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, mm, five, six, seven, nine. So I have nine eggs. No, I have 10, I have 10. I put in six. We'll make it, we'll, we'll make it seven. We'll mash up seven and cut up three on the top. How about that? Three left in there. So I'm gonna use my handy dinner masher right here. Right there. I'm gonna mash these eggs up. And it doesn't take any time to mash them up. It's egg one. Egg two. Egg three. Four, egg five, and egg six. And if you got some that was straggling around, catch them. <laughs> all right, let me just get all the eggs off of that. I love this masher. It's good for potatoes, eggs, pretty much whatever you want to mash. All right, so this is pretty much the consistency my eggs are. And you know I have seven in here. So what I'm gonna do with this egg mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and add my mayonnaise. I have this leftover, so I don't wanna open up a new bottle until I finish up my old bottle. So I'm gonna add all that I have of this jar of mayonnaise with this egg mixture before I open up a new thing of mayonnaise. And you guys, I got my uh, my craft mayonnaise on sale. So I ended up getting two of those. They were on sale, there was a dollar off each bottle. So I paid a dollar ninety nine. And I was surprised because everybody's now is like price gouging, or at least trying to price gouge anyway. Especially with these eggs. These eggs was like crazy high. All right, let's move that over there. All right, so this is my mayonnaise. And. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pimento. I love diced pimento. And if you find it sliced, just cut them up. So I'm gonna put the whole jar in here. I think there's like, let me see, two or four ounces, let's see. This is four ounces, yeah. I, I use this in my tuna. I use it I use it in my potato salad. I use it in all that stuff. Sweet relish, y'all, sweet relish. Ah. I did it. I did it. All right. So sweet relish, y'all. And remember, I, I don't measure anything. Okay. Sweet relish. And something that I did not have in my ingredients, my mama always told me, 
You always want to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. So we're going to just put a little a teaspoon of a little sugar up in here. Yeah. And I always put that on my sweet relish when I when I put it in here. So I'm going to get my little mustard. Got to have that mustard. Yeah. But I'm... Mm, uh, tablespoon, no more than a tablespoon. Teaspoon to tablespoon, depending on how you like mustard. I'm gonna get the rest of my seasonings over here so I can easily grab them. Okay. Of course, I got my black pepper. As you know, that's a staple. Gonna have that black pepper. Teaspoon of that. Paprika. You can put some in it. And you're gonna also, that's like a half a teaspoon. And you can also put some on top. A little seasoning salt. You can use seasoning salt. You can use the Himalayan. Whatever you wanna use. And then the thing that I have left to do is zest my onion. So I'm not gonna use the entire onion. So you know what I do when I'm not gonna use the entire onion? The certain part, part that I cut off, I cut, I cut from this end, not this, because I'm gonna still be using it. So, let's wipe my knife off. I'm gonna cut the egg. And I'm just gonna cut this down the middle. You all see me cutting this down the middle. And the part that has, this part right here is the part that I'm going to use to zest. I'm just going to pull this off. I don't need that. And you know, a lot of people don't like the crunch of onion or don't like raw onion in their potato salad. And the ones that don't, I like to give it that flavor. It's even better than using the onion powder. So I'm just gonna zest, oop. Well, I just wanna go right in there, don't you? Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna zest this onion. And y'all can see all that goodness dropping down in the bowl. All right, so we're just gonna zest that onion. Get all that good old juice from the onion in this potato salad. You can zest, it doesn't matter how much you zest in there. Like I say, this is gonna have a stronger flavor than the onion powder. So all the freshness that you can get out of it, take advantage of it. And then I am gonna dice up real finely some pieces of this onion. Because we like we like onion and our potato salad. Some people don't. Now, if someone had an allergic reaction, of course, I wouldn't even do this. And you wanna do this on the wicks that you add in here too. And I normally go by ear on this. It's like, as soon as my eyes start burning, it's like, okay, I've zest enough. Huh. So now, what I'll do now is I'll finish dicing up this onion. Yeah, dice up this onion and put the rest of this diced onion in the potato salad mix. Hope you can see that. I'm gonna finally slice it up. down on big chunks of raw onion. Some people might. 
I don't prefer. So I go ahead and make this mix up before I even put my, my potatoes in it because what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit in the refrigerator for maybe an hour or so so that all the good old flavors can be merry, you know? We want them to like each other. We want them to have a relationship together. So I just make sure I get all this as thoroughly as I can, as y'all can see. All right, that looks good. So we're just gonna put it in here with that mixture. All right, so that looks like everything that's gonna go in my bowl. Make sure I get out my onion. There we go. All right, so it looks like everything that needs to go in here. So I'm just gonna mix it around. And if I need to add mayo, additional mayo, I'll do it at this point in time. So let me mix that up. All right, so the wet ingredients looks pretty good. And I'm gonna taste it right now. Mm, very good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and refrigerate this. I'm gonna let y'all see the consistency. Y'all see the consistency of that? That's how you want it. Because once you add the potatoes to it, it's gonna suck up all this goodness. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we'll be back once the potatoes are done and the, the, the mixture has married. All right, saran wrap sealed and ready for the refrigerator. All right, you guys, I've just taken my potato salad mixture out of the refrigerator. And now I'm gonna add my potatoes that I have drained and cooled off. So these are my potatoes, you guys. I'm gonna dump that over in the bowl. Still a little steamy, but I like mine a little warm when I first make it anyway. So I let it cool off a little bit, but not to where it was, you know, too cold. And we're just gonna mix this up in the bowl. As you can see that creamy mixture, how it marries with the potatoes. Beautiful. I'm gonna put it in this pan. I could leave it in this bowl, but I'm not. I'm gonna put it in this in my, in my aluminum pan, like so. Make sure I get all my, all my goodness out of the bowl. All right. And I'm telling you, that mixture would be so good. You can just eat that mixture all by itself without adding nothing in it. All right, so. Take the potato salad and just smear it around, mm. like so. And then those three eggs that I had, I'm gonna slice them on top. Where's my knife? my paprika and then got my three eggs. So I'm taking my three eggs, I'm just gonna slice them on top of this mound of goodness. We love a lot of eggs on top of our potato salad, but three is plenty. These are large eggs too. So yeah, three is plenty. And if you guys are watching me, if you you know, 
If you're not used to handling a knife, don't try this in your kitchen. Holding an egg in your hand and slicing down. My mom used to always get on to me about doing that. You gonna cut your hand. And I have, at times I have. Not paying attention to what I was doing, I have. All right, so there are my eggs on top. Now what I'm gonna do now, What I'm gonna do now is sprinkle my paprika on top. And I don't know what it is about paprika on top of potato salad, but it just not complete without paprika. I don't use smoke, just a regular paprika. There we go. Voila, you guys, Shiller Creations potato salad. And I'm gonna put this baby, it was heavy. I'm gonna put this baby in the refrigerator. Ain't that pretty? Y'all like that? Mmm, just wait till we get to the table at Promo SDK Eating Good in Neighborhood. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys when we're at the table.